Hi, so we've had some uh, questions about how to do the uh, outline material, uh, the mast outline material in Stingray. So we've included this uh, for you guys to download. Uh, it's just a real simple custom flow node. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. I just basically created here a, just a simple level plane on the character template. And uh, I have uh, these boxes out here. So if I, if I go to these here in the asset browser and I open them up, you can see here in the flow, I have a uh, physics collision here on the uh, actor collision. So that means if I get hit by anything, then I want to set this unit highlight. This is our custom flow node, and I'll show you where this is in a minute. And uh, we set our uh, alpha value, that could just be one. And the color, we want it to be uh, a bright red. This is uh, one 255 value, so you can just leave that 255. You want to enable it here when we have a touch. Um, the mask value just has to be 0 to 255. If you have the same mask value um, as some other object, then the mask will combine those two objects together. If you want them to be separate, make sure that you have a different mask value from 0 to 1 to 255 on each individual object or unit. Uh, the material slot, of course, is uh, called orange. If you look up here to the right, under materials, you can see that the slot's name is orange. That's the material that we'll choose. You could set a mesh if we had more than one mesh in a unit. Um, say you had arms and legs uh, and a body. If you just wanted to outline the body, you could set that mesh body to outline there as well. And the arms and legs would not outline. So basically I'm setting this unit to highlight uh, a bright red color and then after four seconds, I'm gonna turn it off. So I just used the same node and just said uh, enable false. And I have this little print to screen here to make sure I'm getting a, a collision. So we save this. So if we go into our script editor, I'm going to dock this up here. And if we go back to our script folder, and here we've got global flow nodes here we're going to open up. And then in our Lua folder, we also have our flow callbacks, which we're going to open up. So in our flow callbacks, this is where we're going to write our outline. And I'll include these files, so we're not going to type it out this time, just for the sake of uh, saving some time on this tutorial. But as you can see here at the top of this, uh, we have a few variables defined. Uh, actor, which is Stingray Actor, Vector3, of course, uh, your material, unit, mesh, and color. So we're going to use all of these, as well as setting our selection mouse counter to zero uh, at the beginning. So the first one that we're going to look at here that, that's going to be added when you guys copy and paste this in is this function get mesh by name or all. And this is a function we're going to call in our set unit highlight down below. Basically this is just going to go through your unit, iterate on the table and find the mesh that you've selected. And then we have uh, the function here get material by slot or all. This is going to do the same thing. It's going to iterate through the slots, uh, find the slot name that you've selected and the mesh that goes with it. We're going to call this down here again in our set unit highlight. So this is the main function that we're going to list in our custom flow node. And uh, there's a nice little description here about how this works. Uh, the selection mask for a unit or mesh should usually not be zero, of course, because then you won't have an outline at all. So that's got to be 1 to 255, somewhere in that range. Um, then you can uh, loop, like it says here, between 1 and 255, but you don't go above 255. Again, that's just the color range, so that's going to be your value there. Um, Right, so if they have uh, two different meshes have the same number, then they will overlap together. And if they have different numbers, then they will create two unique outlines per each mesh. You can do that per unit or per, per um, inside a unit per mesh, or you could do it by different units as, as, as well. You could have two units with the same mask, and therefore they would combine when you went to click on them. Basically, all we do here is all the uh, iterations that we're going to have in our flow node, how we're going to set up that flow node. So you're going to have uh, the alpha value, which will create an extra highlight over top of your outline. You'll have your color value, which you can set to anything you like. Um, then we have uh, enable, uh, true or false. And uh, the mask, uh, of course, which is between uh, 1 and 255, that you want to make sure you set that. Uh, and unique masks will create unique outlines. And then the material slot, the mesh, uh, the unit that you want this to happen on, and then the uh, in and out to uh, activate it, turn it on, and make it ready to be used. And that's pretty much it for this function. So then if we went into level flow, you can right click and go to project, 
and the set unit highlight here is now listed and here's your flow node. So we get this flow node of course available to us if we go back to the script editor by in the global script flow nodes we actually define this here. Set unit highlight is the name and you have all your variables here unit string or I'm sorry unit mesh material slot color enable alpha and mask and that's calling this function set unit highlight which of course we defined in the flow callbacks down here. And again, these files uh, will be included with the download in the project, so you can just use these, copy and paste these into any project you're using. It'll work exactly the same way. So then in level flow, we get uh, this idea here. So the concept I want here is I want to spawn as a character. I want to be able to shoot these uh, individual blocks here. And then when I do shoot them, I want them to uh, have an outline, wait four seconds, and then fade out. So what I've done is, If we open this in the uh, unit editor and we check out the flow, I've created a uh, unit flow for this here. We're going to say physics collision. Did I get touched by something? If I did, then set this unit highlight and print this to screen. Oh no, I've been hit. We're going to set the alpha to 1. The color is going to be red, so 255, 0, and 0 on the RGB value. And then we're going to enable it here for true. The mass can be the random number between 1 and 255. My material slot, of course, is orange, and that is based off of my material slot here on the right. If you had multiple material slots, you would want to pick the correct one that's going to match with the, uh, what you wanted to outline. Uh, the mesh in this case I don't need to set because it is the entire mesh. There's no separate meshes in here that I, want to, that I care about. And my unit um, is my unit is me because I want this to happen every time on this unit no matter how many are in the scene. So the time delay here is four seconds, and after this happens four seconds later, I'm going to just copy and paste this same set unit highlight. I'm just going to enable it to false right here. So the intended result is I've been collided on here. I'm going to set a highlight around my unit. I'm going to wait four seconds, and then I'm going to turn that highlight off. And we're going to print to screen here as a debug just to make sure that we know we're being hit. So let's save this. We'll jump into our level. So now we have our character here. If we zoom in and we fire, you can see that now that he's been hit, he prints out, he turns red, waits four seconds, and then it disappears. And this will happen on every unit in my scene. Red, red, red. Four seconds later, disappear, disappear, disappear. So it's working as intended. You can see they have the same mask values, so they outline together here. So that's coming through, and then if I select this one as well, you can see the outline goes around both. So that's how that uh, 1 to 255 value works. Now if I set each individual one of these in level flow to have their own unique mask value, then they wouldn't outline as one unit, they would outline as two separate units. So just to recap here, we have our simple level with our three objects that we want to use the custom flow node to outline in our script editor. We have our global flow nodes and flow callbacks. In our flow callbacks, we define these variables here at the top, and we're going to be using in our functions. Uh, we have the uh, get mesh function by name, and then we have the get material and slot um, that we call then in our custom flow node function set unit highlight. And again, we have right here the uh, information on how this is going to work for you. So as we open up our uh, champ box here, you can see in our unit flow, we have added the physics collision. We've gone through this when it gets hit with the ball, waits four seconds, and then turns off the highlight. Of course, you can enable these anytime you want, or you could do it with a mouse click or, or mouse over, however you want to do that. So that's uh, basic functionality on how to get those uh, custom flow nodes to work to do an outline on your object. Of course, you could use that for cell shading or anything you like, selections, however you want to use it. Thanks, and look forward to more tutorials in the near future.